I'm Tej Tari, I'm the founder and CEO of MindMaze and we're here at the GDC 2015 launching MindLeap, our consumer health VR uh, platform. And what we do is we're bringing two new products uh, and two new prototypes and technology platforms into the market for game developers and enthusiasts. And what you're seeing in front of me is one of them, which we call the Neuro Goggles, which is where you see Nicholas essentially looking at his hands in front of the goggles which has an embedded motion capture system, a combination of stereo and depth sensors and he's putting his hands on fire. So he's actually going to modulate this fire using his brain. So that's the third piece of it. It's not only do you see your hands and limbs in virtual and augmented worlds, you can do different fun stuff with them and then modulate this with your brain to get a real experience of how you feel. So you're bringing your emotion and feeling into the virtual experience. What he can also do is if he turns left by his hands on fire, he's moved into the virtual world. So this headset also lets you do virtual reality and augmented reality in the same platform, very fluidly. So you can mix between VR, come back to the real world, and then see his real hands on fire again. So the reason this platform works so well, it's all fluid. It really synchronizes the delay between the brain signals, the motion capture signals, the rendering into once millisecond resolution, so the experience has got to be perfect. And that's how you believe this is your virtual experience. And we are excited about it because I think this platform, now that we've validated this for patients uh, with different deficits over the last few years, we bring that medical quality now into the gaming world. And we want to bring all the fun stuff from the gaming world back into the medical space and you know make it one big uh, picture. So yeah, we're excited to be here. That's the NeuroGoggle piece of it. And in the next six months, what we're going to do is launch the SDK um, and eventually get this product out to developers so they can build a lot of amazing stuff with it and be excited about it. Can you talk about how, you, how the product will affect uh, not only medical treatments but also gaming possibilities with it? Right, I, and we've thought of a few different possibilities. There's two things that this brings. One is, a, a typical way to look at this is how does intention play in? So if I am, let's say, in a first-person shooter game holding my gun and I need to relax and stabilize so I can hold the gun properly, the brain can, you know, the system can gauge this for you and stabilize this. So you can then, as you relax, the system knows you've relaxed and you can get a better aim in the game. Or you can switch and get a superpower. Or, you know, you could then disappear and come back in a different perspective. So different fun possibilities in different gaming scenarios are enabled. Which always, again, come back from the medical perspective where, for example, amputee patients who have pain can just visualize their hands and the pain goes away. So. This, this, the possibilities are just uh, across the board. Can you go into a little detail about how the technology works? Right. So a, a simple example you see here for Nicholas to essentially see fire on his hands and modulate it with his brain, there's three things playing out. One is the motion capture cameras embedded in the front, so they're capturing his fingers at a high frame rate and accuracy. Two, the rendering's got to work, you know, stereo-wise to map out to how his eyes would really perceive it. Three is the EEG, electrical activity being measured off your brain that's then tying into how this fire is modulated. So it's all syncing up in one engine that's, that's, that's in the goggles that's going to synchronize all these multimodal signals in real time. Uh, we're hoping by Q4 2015 we can get our SDKs out and get developers to start building things. So.